You're sitting at home, you know, the boys are running wild. And do you ever look at them and stop and say, you know, I've been in the two highest grossing movies of all time. Stop it. <laughs> no. But it is an amazing achievement. I think it's usually my husband who basically says, you know, she's been in the two highest grossing movies of the world. Stop it. I never, I need to be reminded that I was, I've been a part of really special projects and um, so I'm a workhorse. I literally just, I Focus. work and then I come home and I'm working at home and, and then I go to sleep and I wake up and I do it all over again. But then years, you know, years pass and moments like this, events like this, awards like this compel you to kind of stop and look behind you and, and realize that your work has delivered great results, that you have impacted people in a very special yes. way yeah. and that it's okay to take a moment and breathe it all in. And so it feels, it feels quite special. Okay, here, let me give this to you right now. There you go. That thing's heavy. Yeah. It is. What does that mean to be the star of the year? I really don't know. These moments, like, I think awards are not something that I've, um, I've experienced myself in my personal career. Yeah. I've always been happy for others when they get that recognition. I'm rooting for others. To be in this place feels more like an out-of-body experience, but it is compelling me to, to force myself to stand in my own skin and, and be proud, and be proud of what I've done because I've always um, been a quiet warrior. Right. <laughs> it's not about what you say, it's, it's about what you do. And, and I've, I've been doing a lot for many, many years. So um, it's good, it's good to be recognized. You know, you talk about standing in your own skin. You do a lot of social though in your green skin. Yeah. As we get ready for Guardians of the Galaxy. See me up in the club with 51 girls. How much of a kick do you get out of it? And do you ever FaceTime the boys? All the time. Green? You do? All the time. And they, <laughs> you can tell they're always taken aback by it. Um, I think that secretly they love it. But deep, deep down, like I'm always their mom, so I'm definitely not the coolest person in the room anymore. Right, right, right. right. And that, um, that's quite humbling. Mm. So uh, when I am Gamora, I think I think I think it's also those 3:30 a.m. calls. Yeah. You yeah. know, to start your hair and makeup, yeah. that that delirium kicks in, and you might as well make something out of it. So my team and I, Vera, Will, Peter, and I, who are usually up at 3.45, like up and at it with all those chemicals and all those fumes, yeah. we're doing those crazy videos and they make us really happy. It's also because it's the last installment. This can very well be the last time they get to do this makeup on me that they turn me into Gamora. Oh, yeah. So we've been savoring every moment. That's what we heard, that this is the end. And what will it be like to, I mean, you bonded with that crew those folks, the makeup and hair people, but also the stars. Is that gonna be hard to say goodbye to that group, allegedly? Of course, it's, it will always be bittersweet, but the one thing I'm learning now that I'm in my 40s and I've been doing this for 20 years is that it doesn't have to be the end. Yeah. You know, you can always take it upon yourself to check in, to get everybody together, to have those dinners, to witness everybody in their great moments and in their not so great moments. And I feel like what made us a family is that we've been through so much as the guardians of the galaxy. We all know what happened to James Gunn years ago. And that was a test for all of us. And we were the guardians of the galaxy. We had his back and, mm -hmm. and we stood strong and we, are, we feel tighter than ever. It's a really special group and everybody makes an effort to love each other, you know, to love right, the to other, and that's up. beautiful. Um, you're also part of Amsterdam. Yeah. What can you tell us? Because the cast is, it's crazy. It's like every uh, star in the universe unites. I can say that I had a wonderful experience working with David O is unique all on its own because of his personality, because of the way that he worked. His approach to storytelling is quite unique to him, to who he is. I remember calling Jen Lawrence and asking her like, hey, can you give me some tips because I don't know what to expect. And she's like, just don't expect anything. Just literally don't come with anything prepared. Just be clay, because he's wow. definitely a sculptor and he's gonna mold you into whatever it is that he's looking for. And he's always looking for something. It may seem like he's not. Right. So Jen was like my little lucky charm. Uh, and oh. I'm so happy I called her the night before my first day. Oh, wow. um, but I really had a, a wonderful experience. I was clay and he did mold me like in so many ways. And I'm always like, what just happened? Is this gonna be okay? I, and so I hope, I haven't seen anything, but I hope it's gonna be good. 
you are one of the most beautiful actresses and a huge star, but you live in a world in your house of severe male energy. I know. Twins, seven-year-old twins and a five-year-old. What is that? Like, what is the balance of those two things? Because I have all boys and I know I'm like, oh my God, the male energy is real. It's really my, my dad who tends to be pretty like good with zingers and really good, you know, he's very witty. He was like, be careful, because once you're again, you're the minority here. <laughs> yeah. In every way, like, the, the only girl, the only, sometimes, like, the only American yeah. <laughs> speaking English in the house. Um, it's just, it's a lot of male energy. I think it's really beautiful. It's, it's compelled me to understand the male species from inception. Mm -hmm. And I have to say that I'm quite enamored with just you males. I can find so many things that you guys could be doing better, but raising three future men, I can tell you a million things that you guys were already born with, that's already great, you know? That's and awesome. and it's, it's quite special. That but it's not for the faint of heart. No, it's not, is it? <laughs>